Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the magic wand tool to select a sky and replace it. Your image could end up looking something like this one. Let's get started. This is my original image. I'm going to get the magic wand tool which is about the fourth tool down and depending on which tool was used last, it might not be the tool that's on the top. So what you need to do is hold down the button so that the pop-out menu shows up and then choose the correct one. And in this case, it is the last one, the magic wand tool. If we look up here at the options on the menu bar, we can see that the tolerance is set at 32 as the default. So if I click on this area of the sky, it does a pretty darn good job of selecting it. Let's change the tolerance to something else. I'm going to put it on 10, which means that it will be less sensitive. Now, when I click on the sky, you can see that it doesn't quite get the whole thing. But if I hold down the shift key, I get the plus sign, and then I can try to go back in and clean up this selection. I'm going to go to select, deselect, or the keyboard shortcut is control or command D and that gets rid of my selection. Now let's put the tolerance on 80 and see what happens. I'm going to click on the sky and what that did is it clicked, it selected the sky but it also selected part of this pond down here and the seashore. So if I wanted to I could hold down alt on the keyboard um, or option on a Mac and I could try to clean this up but that's not working very well. I also want to show you what happens if you click on a different area of the image. The tolerance is now set at 32. Watch what happens when I click on the grass area. So it's not doing a very good job at all of selecting the grass. Let's click on this uh, water area. It's not doing that great of a job of selecting the water area either. So the conclusion is that the magic wand tool works magnificently on a area that is relatively the same color, but it doesn't work well on an area where there are lots of different shades or tones of the same color. So for that, you would use a different type of selection tool. So let's go ahead and set our tolerance back on 32 and select the sky. Depending on your image, you may need to set the tolerance for different numbers. Now what I'm going to do is go to, oh, there's my image. So this is the sky that I used. So I'm going to select all, select, all, which is Control or Command A is the keyboard shortcut, and then I'm going to copy it. So I can go to Edit Copy or Control or Command C. Now I'm going to go back to my image, and I do need to go over here to the Layers panel and unlock the background. So I'll simply click on this padlock icon, and it disappears. It is now unlocked. Next, I'm going to go to edit, paste special, paste into, and that will paste my sky into the selection. There we go. Now I don't want this mountain showing, so for my particular image I am going to go to edit, transform, flip horizontal. You probably won't need to do that for your image, but maybe you will. You might need to make your sky larger or smaller. Let me show you how to do that. You need to select the Move tool and then make sure that this checkbox where it says Show Transform Controls is checked. That will give you the handles on the outside of the image. So if I click and drag inward, it makes the image smaller. And if I drag it larger, then it makes the image larger. And you might have to use the magnifying glass set on minus, then switch back to the move tool so that you can see what you're doing. So I can 
make this the size that I need it to be. And then once I get it where I want it, I will simply click the check mark and it is resized. So now it looks like my sky is dark, but the rest of my image is really bright and it looks a little strange. So what I'm going to do is create the, click the create new fill or adjustment layer and I'm going to choose hue and saturation. I'm gonna take the saturation down a little bit and take the lightness down a little bit. So what I'm trying to do is just make those look a little bit like a less of a bright sunny day and more of a kind of a night scene. And I'm also going to um, take the hue and saturation layer and drag it underneath of the sunset, uh, sunset layer. And I think that looks pretty convincing. So you should choose similar images. Perhaps you will choose a, a landscape that has a sky and replace it with something interesting. Have fun with the project.